let's put some foliage into our basket. This is good. This is just a fun little piece where we're doing different skill building lessons so that today it's going to be foliage and leaves for this painting. I have no set plan. So we're just going to fly with it and have some fun. Okay, I have a dark green, which is thicket. Here's kind of a dull green, which is basil. And this is fresh foliage. These are all plaid folk art colors. And I have a uh, one stroke Donna Dewberry number 12 flat brush. I use a lot of her brushes because I find they work really well. They last a long time if they're taken care of and they're relatively inexpensive. So they're budget friendly. I've used other brushes too, Low Cornell, Majestic. Um, and it seems like I always come back to these. Um, who knows in the future, maybe I'll find others that I love just as much. But anyway, so I was thinking of some like background flowers and we're going to make the foliage for those and the leaves. So I kind of have an idea of what I want. I'm going to load my brush with the basil and fresh foliage, maybe brighten it up a touch with the, oh, the I'm sorry, basil and thicket and then brighten up just a touch on the basil side with the fresh foliage. And I'm just loading my brush, making sure I have a good, nice chisel edge. And I'm just going to drag up. You can even go all the way off if you want of the canvas. This is a fun painting. You can make it your own by however you do this. And leaves, I'm gonna do a few leaves. So I have my scallop stroke leaf. I don't know if you've um, practiced these or done these. I find them very easy now that I've done them a bazillion times, but I'm gonna start it right here at the edge. Like it's coming from behind the basket. I just do my scallop shape and then I see how I twist and come to a point. Now, if you just wanna draw in a scallop with paint, do so. You don't have to wiggle. In fact, I'm so used to wiggling, it's hard for me not to, but that way I got too long of a point there because I'm trying to exaggerate it so that you really get a, a feel for it. So I'm just gonna pull my leaf out a little bit longer. So, and sometimes you can end up with two uh, tips and that's okay, just go over it again or you can clean up a tip and I'll show you how you do that. Now you see how it's kind of um, being where there's gaps there. It's okay because of the crackle finish, it can do that. So I'm going to show you how to clean up. If Like if I didn't like that end, here's a brush. It's a clean brush. Get it damp. I'm wiping it on a rag so that it's not dripping and I'll just clean off that edge. Just pull that paint up and I'm smearing some. And all you do is you rinse your brush again, tap it out, and pull that all up. Pull it up. And there you've taken off the tip. It's subtle, but it works. Now, I did say that you could just do the shape of the leaf. You can do that. So let's do one down here. And like I said, there's no rhyme or reason to this. You don't even have to put one there. But just pull some shapes and there is one half and then pull, stroke, stroke, stroke. And there you have another leaf. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? You could do, um, we can go back to our little flower and we're gonna just put some little stamens in or little stems. Every now and then if you want to dip into the fresh foliage to give you a difference in color, go right ahead. And if you want to go the opposite from the stem out, you could do that too. And we'll throw in some more stems. And you know, we may come in and do flowers down here so it'll cover the bottom, but we're just working on building our design. 
We're not too worried about anything. We're just having fun playing with this. If it's starting to drag too much and so the stems get thicker, wet your brush a little bit. Add a little touch more water. I have it way too hot in my studio today. I left my heat on for too long. It's like 80 degrees in here, so my paint's thickening up really fast. So there's that. And I'm just going to put in some faint little side. And if you feel more comfortable with a liner doing this, then do it. It's all good. It is all perfectly fine and dandy. I'm getting some more in. Thinking about doing a leaf right here. I had added a little fresh foliage on this. I did not. So there's going to be a little color difference. And you get the picture of how we're just having fun with it. So I'm going to do like a little draping vine. And then I'm going to do some of the what I call just slider leaves. And it's a double load of the two colors and I can dip some of the fresh foliage in there. And I just start at an angle, press, lift, press, lift, press, lift. And you have some simple leaves. These are longer than some of my slider leaves. Let me show you some others. Let's see, I'll go down. No, I don't want it there. Let's see, let's pull some out here. Pull one out here get my hand in the way and press lift, press lift, press lift. That was a little thick. This is dragging because of the heat in here, but it all works in the end because you know what, if I hated it, I could put a flower over it or something like that. So we've got the stems in there for some flowers and I think that's good. I'll just add a few more. I just rinsed out my brush because it was getting so gloppy. And I'm going to wet it down a little bit so that I can make these little slender out. And these may have flower, uh, leaves at the base, so I'll just put some leaves. Not all leaves are perfect. They could be a half leaf. They could have one side shorter than the other. And so if you need to turn your palette or your uh, piece, go right ahead. So I'm just gonna do a portion of a leaf right here. And if you go over other leaves, don't worry about it. I am doing that right there. So there's a leaf there. And that's basically it for this portion of our basket and adding a few leaves. And so we can leave it there and move on. And next time we'll put in our flowers that are going to go into the background. You could also come in and put some foliage down here. And what I mean by foliage is slip slap some of the color in. Make it all the dark color because this is the deep dark bottom where the things are going to sink in rather. You know what? Rather than just say that, I'm going to do it for you. So here is, I have got a touch of basil, but mostly thicket. And I'm just going to put some foliage in here. Yes, I'm going over the edge of the basket. That's fine and dandy. I'll touch into a little bit of the foliage, fresh foliage here and there. Lighten it up. If you want it really dark, you can add something that deepens the color here. You can even put in a touch of black or burnt umber. I'll go ahead and I'll just show you how to do that. Now, black is super strong, so put in the tiniest hint, tiny hint, and just give it some depth right there at the base. And there we have our some foliage. Just mishmash it in there.
play with it, have fun, and let it dry. We will come back and we will add some things next time.